Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to take a look at the Weller 24 volt 45 watt TCP Magnostat soldering iron. Generally you'll see this in two variants, the older style and the newer style. Internally they're both pretty much identical. What we're going to have a look at is how it works and how we can go about repairing it when it stops getting hot. I'm going to work with the newer style because it comes apart a little bit easier. The main difference between the newer and the old one is the new, one, the older one has got a, a core grip in here that you have to undo, and um, that will allow you to take it apart. They both come apart in the same way with the tips. You take the outer sleeve off, and then you take the tip off. There's a little magnet in the tip there that sets the temperature. As the magnet gets hot, it loses its magnetism, which causes the switch inside to turn on and off. I'm going to put this iron to one side and we will take apart this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pop the sleeve off and pop the tip out. When we look at the iron, there is three screws here. So I'm going to take those out. The strange thing is you screw, because there's also a magnet in here, the screwdriver's pulled towards this. Let's take these out, three of them. And that will allow us to slide apart and we can see the insides. We've got power input here. We've got a ESD ground earth terminal that goes to the shield. On my power supply there's a, a little tip on the front that I can connect to is ESD. And when we look at this we can see the wiring. The power comes in here, goes to the switch out here to the one end of the heater, the other end of the heater is directly connected to the other cable. Let's start off by testing the switch. I'm going to put my meter on to beep test and I'm going to put it across the two terminals that do the switch. And what should happen when I put the tip back in, it will beep and that confirms that the switch is working. The heater we test here between these two terminals and we're looking for a reading of around 12 ohms. The final test you can do with it is to put your meter onto voltage and we're going to plug it into the power pack with the magnet removed, turn the power pack on and we're looking to see on these two bottom terminals here, somewhere around 24 volts. So we see we've got 24.8 volts there. That indicates that the cable works. The two spare parts that we can get for this iron is a replacement heater switch. The other part that's available for these as a spare part is the heating assembly. I hope this has given you some idea of how to prepare your iron and what's inside one and thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. 